Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to some EVE Online. In today's video, I want to share with you guys the opening of the latest structure to be added to Co Incorporated. We actually have a large structure. I'm gonna risk it. Here is an Asbel that is now in repair mode and in uh, less than six minutes it will be ready and fully functioning. So uh, this is gonna be the Co Incorporated Grand Bazaar. I am going to try to create a market facility there. We'll see if we get any traction, uh, if we can do anything, but it is basically the final uh, service that uh, I'm still not offering in detail that I can offer. There's still um, like uh, reactions and stuff like that, but unfortunately you can't do that in high stake. Still, I'm hoping that uh, it can be cool and uh, I'm also um, yeah, basically completing the project here. So now we have the Astros mostly for safekeeping, right? This is where you would store uh, most of your valuable loot, your ships, things like that. It also has a clone bay, so this is where you can clone in and out um, of, uh, of detail if you want to. Over there we have of course the reprocessing. Up here we have our research facility. Uh, here's where we had a little bit more action lately with the manufacturing right taru uh, still isn't rigged that's definitely something that i might still work on later and then back there right next to the massive gas planet we have moonbase alpha which every two weeks on a thursday uh, uh, 1500 eve time um, it uh, blows up a chunk and uh, you can do some moon mining there so all that was left really was uh, a, uh, um, a service for the market and that's what we are going to try to set up here so let's go to the uh, right tarry manufacturing that's where I did most of my preparations it's also basically a side activity that I did next to all of my uh, industry experiments so I kept making stuff bringing it to Jita and then I always came back with resources for this as well um, one thing you might be wondering um, what if you lose this well absolutely fine I do uh, stick to rule number one of EVE Online do not fly or deploy what you're not willing to lose and then Asbel honestly it's like around 3 billion is it's it's a lot uh, I have to admit but uh, I feel like I can comfortably deploy that if it's lost it's lost then we'll we'll see what we do uh, next but I wouldn't consider that to be uh, too big of a deal uh, next to uh, that of course as we are going to open that up in a couple of minutes or try to get the service up and running in a couple of minutes we'll need some fuel so let's get started by putting some fuel that i prepared in my fleet hangar and then i'm also going to take a quick look at uh putting some stuff on the market if i'm not mistaken i try to make some stuff as well so we're gonna put all of that on the market let's put that in the fleet hangar as well and i will see how we um how we continue but i'm also going to take the opportunity to answer the questions uh, from a viewer who wanted me to make a video about setting up a structure and especially i think uh, the settings so uh, that is something i had to take a quick look at that of course as well after deploying a new structure you, you go to the structure browser so just go for business and then structure browser and then every structure can use a profile so if, here we have my profiles you could make a new one i'm using co Inc one for all of them you can see these structures that are actually using the profile and uh, then here in the profile settings window that's where you can basically do everything that you need to do first uh, up on the top here is docking access mine is set to public and you can just right click on that manage access list and here is where you can do everything that uh, you want you can set it so that only your corporation or only your own character i think can dock um, on the structure or uh, like i've said i'm allowing everyone and then i'm working with a blocked list right here uh, these are corporations that have uh, war decked me in the past so those guys are currently on the block list if you want to add someone for instance here uh, let's say that i want to uh, not like uh, Kaffee Puff Studio, good God, what a name. Uh, I don't want him to use the structures, just drag and drop on the block list. There he shows up. And uh, if you want to remove that, just right click and remove or unblock. Oh, remove then. Yeah, remove like that. He's back into the everyone list and so he can dock again. But yeah, that is basically, I think, the most important thing uh, to know when it comes to the docking axis here. Just work with the axis list right there. Um, 
Another thing to note, of course, if you do eventually get wardict, do remember to grab that corporation. That works as well. So you could also go for the entire corporation. Then again, manage your access list and you could drop that in here. That works as well. That's exactly what I did with corporations that have wardict me. Pretty important to do that if you do get wardict so that they don't uh, like uh, have a, a, a super close place to dock, to tether, to repair and things like that, which is in your own structures, where, which they're trying to blow up at that point. So yeah, docking access is pretty important, of course. After that, you've got all the services. So we've got, for instance, corporation offices, minors to public, cost zero ISK, and that is in the Astra who's you have uh, control is of course set to your own corporation then you have the clone bay which is public again costing zero isk in the Astra who's so that is where you can uh, set yourself up for your administration then you've got industry um, so all of these all you can really do there is again set up an access list and then set up a tax I'm putting these at 0.1% the lowest possible so that I still have a look at the transactions that are happening so that I know how much my facilities are using it's really not about the ISK uh, for for me because I got so much ISK from you guys already that I'm basically doing this as a service and what the hell was that oh <laughs> that is apparently uh, an asbel coming online all the way in the background there so we'll have to fly over there uh, to uh, to see what we can do next um so yeah all your my industry uh, facilities again are public lowest tax then the market hub i'm also going to put that at 0.1 percent tax uh not zero just to keep an eye on how many transactions are happening and things like that then you've got navigation that is specifically for the jump bridges and the sinusaural beacons which of course are nullsec specific so i'm not uh, using that but again you can just work with uh, access list here manage access list if you want to and then reprocessing which uh, in this case is also for free uh, for uh, for people that uh, want to use it here in detail so i think it's time to uh, to get over there to take a look at the asbel and to see if we can get the facility up and running uh, there it is and we will just dock straight away on the facility and uh, I already moved the uh, the structure uh, service it's uh, the structure service the market service itself to the asbel so now all I have to do is fly in some fuel and then we should be good to go I do think it's gonna cost me a decent amount of fuel so we'll have to uh, keep that uh, up and running it's gonna cost me a little bit of extra isk and if so if you want to support me in any way honestly i think i'll put a buy orders for fuel uh, in the asbel and uh, if you're willing to help out then you can definitely either give me like a contract or sell them to me uh, sell those fuel blocks to me uh, in here because uh, we're gonna need quite a bit i think it's not gonna be bonus but it is at least cheap enough to do so. So here is the Asbel. Looks pretty great. Massive. Our first L structure. Look at the uh, Alliance logo as well on all sides. And then we've got the Corporation logos back there as well. Super, super cool. Quite stoked to see this uh, here. Let's uh, take control. That's what you need to do for fitting. So um, I'm going to quickly repeat that structure browser on the profile settings, work with ac access lists and just go through all of this to set everything up the way you want it for your structure. Once that is done um, and it's uh, completely deployed, go in there, take control. That's when you can press fitting and that's when you can start, of course, uh, adding fitting. So for now, we're going to start without any real defenses on this Asbel. Later on, uh, as the, the ISK rolls in, we might start to do that. But I should have in the item hanger a market hub. So let's put that one in here. It will require 3000 fuel just to be online. But uh, yeah, market hub is in here. That's a good start. And then next we've got the ship hanger, the Ocator, which has this to put in the fuel bay. So we'll, we'll put 10,000 nitrogen fuel blocks in the fuel bay. And then I should just be able to right click and put online. And there we go, guys. Now going at 40 uh, blocks per hour, our um, standard market hub one is going. Which should mean that if I release control then grab the stuff here put that in the item hanger very quickly i should be able to sell this item uh, let's first press view market details so i'm already selling some of these uh, in system in the uh, specter fleet as well um, at 350 isk if we take a quick look around it's actually the cheapest that it is 
Um, so we can try to compete with ourselves if I try to do this now. And then we go for, let's say, 349. Give it three months. If people want that on the cheap. And there we go. Look at that. I'm selling in the Grand Bazaar. How cool is that? That is super cool, guys. Honestly, that is absolutely amazing. So we're going to take a quick look at the Mjolnir Heavy Missiles as well. Couple jumps out selling up to $52.99. The average price is aimed at $63.90 though. And in system... People are trying to sell them for $49.99. So we're going to try to undercut all of that just to see if we can get a sale going here. I'm curious to see how that would work. We're going to try and sell these for 52 ISK. Put them on the market. And there we go. Co-incorporated a grand bazaar. And then something that might be useful and is actually selling way above the average price. What I'm going to try to do here is just sell that for 1.5 million like that and then uh, people can maybe try to either grab it on the cheap or uh, make some profits on a trade on this one here in the grand bazaar how cool is that i think that is super super cool um it might attract unwanted attention but as i've said i am sticking to the rule number one for eve online i'm not deploying what i'm not willing to lose and look at all the activity here all of these little lights showing uh, well civilians and uh, workers from our asbel is now running at full power all right this uh, battle station is now fully operational so i'm gonna work probably on the fitting a little bit but this is really uh the aim here what i'm first of all going to do as well uh to to finish is to show you guys the undock so i aimed it so that it's very easy to get out of system so you've got dira chunka and ssama all three gates clustered over here very easy to to fly towards that if you want to go to providence then keep bp is doable as well and um unfortunately for if you want to get straight back to the uh, uh manufacturing industry uh right Daru, that is not so great but you can still pretty easily get to the astra house and to the research station as well um so what i would usually do i think is uh go to uh, the uh go to the astra house and and try to maybe like gather fuel there since that's where i'm gathering my loot from exploration so if I wanted to, I'd uh, make a trip to Cheetah, sell everything there, come back with fuel. And if I have extra stuff, then I, I would probably put that over there. So I'm hoping that that makes sense, especially the gate, I think, is basically the most important. So that you can get out and then just press warp to a gate and not have to go through the entire structure again in order to get out of the system. So yeah, we actually have a market up and running. What I'm going to do to finish here is to add a little bit of extra fuel to this structure and then oh, maybe I'll also put up the buy orders. Take a look and, and see if that works uh, for some fuel. So I'm gonna maybe try uh, to put them at a low price and see if anyone wants to help me out. We'll see how that works. But yeah, we definitely have some extra fuel that we can take. That's actually quite a bit, which will hopefully fuel the uh, Asbel for a decently long time. Then we're gonna dock back here 2,000 kilometers because it's around 1,000 kilometers from the belt and then 1,000 kilometers from the manufacturing station. So yeah, you do... If you're docking here, you're just going straight towards the center. So you're ending up at the end. But if you undock and then want to go out system, it's always going to be quite accessible. Um, can I just find a fuel bay? No, so you do always have to take control. Well, that actually makes sense. Just to not allow anyone to uh, do stuff on the fuel bay. There we go. Stack all. And then if I press a few market details... Take a look at what's uh, happening around here. So we do have buyers for 19k. Um, I'm going to also place a buy order. Let's say that I want to buy for 20,000 ISK. I think it's above average by a little bit, but not by too much. Definitely lower than what I would expect here. And I'm willing to buy 10,000 units of that. And will give us the longest period, of course. Range within station. I want them here. These are fuel blocks. You can sell to me nitrogen fuel blocks, 20,000 ISK, for uh, helping me fuel my market. 
And there we go. Look at that. Wire coming in here uh, for that price. That is really cool, man. I've got my own little market in EVE Online. Another achievement that, uh, that uh, yeah, I, I had thought about. Am I going to do this? Am I not going to do this? Uh, I finally decided that, yeah, it's time to do so. And there we go. We have our own markets. Uh, release control. Hmm, a little bit of uh, hesitation. Well, it is new in the system and on the server. So might take a little bit of time for everything to fully stabilize. But there it is, guys. Coin Incorporated has a large structure and its own market up and running now in EVE Online. Also in the structure browser. If I go to all of my structures, you can always see here, oof, all of that fuel is only for 20 days. So yeah, this is going to be um, a challenge a little bit to keep this uh, fueled, uh, but uh, we'll work it out. It's, it's going to be great. All the others are not that difficult to fuel. You can see here, I've got plenty of, uh, of time. And so now for the next 20 days, we definitely have a market up and running in detail in EVE Online. Super awesome. I'm super stoked. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And thank you also for all your support. If it wasn't for that support, I don't think I would feel comfortable risking something like this. But now I definitely feel like we can do that. And so we've got it up and running. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.